Our DNA consists of nucleotides with four different bases. Sometimes a point mutation occurs in the coding region and changes a single base pair. This type of mutation is known to cause lots of different genetic diseases such as certain type of cancer and sickle cell anemia. The use of cytosine-based editors can cleverly solve a considerable part of this problem. For this, we need a fusion protein consisting of nickase, cytosine deaminase, uracil DNA glycosylase inhibitor, and a gRNA matching the target site with the mutation. The complex will recognize the target site, in this case a GC base pair that should be an AT base pair. The deaminase part of the complex will remove the amino group from cytosine which results in uracil. Here's the closer look to the reaction. Meanwhile, the strand with guanine is cut by nickase and exposed for repair. Changing back to the unwanted original is inhibited by the UGI that protects the uracil from excision. The deaminated strand serves as a template for DNA repair. Opposite to uracil, an adenine is inserted and thus an exchange from guanine to adenine took place. The uracil is later converted to a thymine by the cell during DNA replication. Now, researchers have also developed adenosine deaminases and fused them into a nickase. This adenine base editor can convert AT base pairs to GC base pairs. More than 75,000 genetic mutations are linked to human disease like sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis, or muscular dystrophy. Almost half of these around 35,000 genetic variants are point mutations, which can be divided into transition and transversion. Cytosine and adenine-based editors together could potentially correct all transition point mutations without setting a double-strand break in the DNA and thus avoiding unwanted DNA mistakes.